Sagid from the Belly Dance Center. Thank you for joining me to another belly dance lesson. Today we're going to learn how to do the shimmy, which is a vibration movement in our hips. People might think that it comes from the belly muscles or uh, some kind of breathing, but it actually comes from hip motion. You can benefit from watching this video if you don't know yet how to do the shimmy, but also if you do have a shimmy but it's really small. For example, if I do this, this is a really small shimmy. So consider you're performing and you have some distance between you and the audience. People might not even see the movement. They would see you just standing there. So you want a really big shimmy. Let me first say that shimmy is a movement that usually takes time to get. And you need a lot of practice and patience with it. Don't get frustrated if you don't get it the first time. Uh, it's all about speed and you need to build speed and it takes time. There are a few different techniques and ways to do the shimmy and teach it. I'm going to teach you one of them, the one I believe is the, the best, and the one I teach my students in my classes. So the shimmy I'm going to teach you is based on the basic step, the up-down hip accents in our hips, and it's just really fast. You need to make sure you sit lower, you bend your knees as you're doing this, and do really soft accents. We don't want sharp accents because then it kind of locks your hips and you can't get the vibration. You want really soft knees. The other thing important uh, to mention is we don't want to lock our knees. We don't want to straighten our legs. See the difference between this, which is right, and this. You don't see my hip go up down. Let me show you from the side. This is correct, with my knees bent, I'm sitting down a little bit, and this is wrong. I'm just locking my knees. And the reason, there are a few reasons why I don't like uh, this technique, and many dancers actually use it, yes? This is the, the one I mean. And you can get a shimmy from it, and a lot of students do it also because it's easier to get than this one, up, down, up, down. I see a few problems, especially with uh, beginner students. One is a health issue. If you do it wrong and you keep locking your knees, eventually you might hurt your knees and your lower back. So in that sense, if you are using this technique, you have to be really careful and conscious and know how to do it, not hurting yourself. The second reason is that as you get uh, more advanced in the dance, you might want to combine the shimmy with other things, for example, figure eight, and undulation, and when you have your knees bent, it's easier to work and do it. If you're used to locking your knees, it's much more difficult to get the movement going. Another thing to watch for is sometimes students do little twists instead of up, down, up, down, just because it's easier. So try to check to make sure you're not doing that. And the last thing I would recommend is not getting used to lifting your heels doing it from your heels. You want to keep the whole foot flat on the ground, from the heels to the toes, everything is on the ground. As I said before, the shimmy takes time. It's quite a process of building up the speed. I'm going to show you how to work on it. And this practice, the aim is to get a little bit faster each time, not get the shimmy the first time. Usually it won't happen, so don't get frustrated about it. I'm going to show you what to do, and I'm going to do it a little bit faster than what you should do at home, just because I, want, I don't want to drag this video too much. So you want to make sure you sit low, your, your knees are bent, and you're going to start by doing really soft uh, up accents. And you're going to do this for uh, one or two minutes, especially if you didn't dance just before this uh, practice. You want your muscles a, a little bit warmer. So let's say you did this for one, two minutes. You're going to speed it, but just a little bit. So if now I'm doing one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, I'm going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. And again, you want to keep this rhythm for one or two minutes, making sure you keep the separation, your upper body shouldn't move, if it moves just a little bit, it's okay, but make sure you're not really all over the place. 
After two minutes, you're going to go a little bit faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And again, from time to time, practice in front of the mirror to check what's happening with your upper body. After about two minutes, a little bit faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. And this is really a good practice, not just for the shimmy. You can actually get a good control over the basic step. Even with a fast movement, you can do the basic step really fast with a good separation. So you actually gain from the weight as well. A little bit faster. Ta -ta 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 And after two minutes, a little bit faster. A little bit faster. And I went into the shimmy. So you can see that you're actually sliding into the shimmy. You don't want to go really slow and then shimmy. Because usually at first, it won't be a nice shimmy with a separation. Everything will move and this is not what we want. So each time you want to start slow and pick up the pace slowly, slowly up. And once you see that the upper body starts moving too much, it means right now this is too fast for you and you need to stop. You don't want to get used to do it in doing it wrong. So uh, every time you will see that you can do it a little bit faster, a little bit faster, still keeping the separation. And you want to kind of slide into the shimmy. So usually as you practice, uh, once you slide into the shimmy, you can't hold it for long. So you need to keep practicing to really get the shimmy and keep it going. Because usually, uh, at first, you will practice speeding up, speeding up, up, and then it stops. So again, don't get, get discouraged about that. Just keep practicing. You want, in, in the end, you want to really keep the shimmy. You can do it for a few minutes without stop. And only then you will be able to actually start practicing combining the shimmy with other movements. It's best to practice the shimmy without music in the background because with music you can either do uh, half speed, real speed, double speed, etc. So the jumps in the speed are too much. You want to really slowly, slowly pick up the pace. As I said in the beginning of the clip, and this video can also help people who have the shimmy, but it's really, really small. So um, I would recommend practicing going back again and starting from the, from the beginning, picking up the pace slowly. A good tip is sometimes even not doing the shimmy at all, but doing really, really fast basic step. Because um, if you really want to make sure people further away would see the movement, you might want to keep uh, your hips at the speed right before you slide into the shimmy. Let me show you what I mean. This is a really fast basic step. It's still controlled, it's not a vibration. People might call it a shimmy if they see it, but it's not a shimmy. This is a really fast basic step. And with this kind of movement, because it's really big and clear, people would see it further away. So if you don't have really yet a really, really big shimmy, you might want to consider, again, because you've practiced the way I taught you, you can hold, you can hold your hips just the second before it goes into the shimmy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You're welcome to subscribe to my channel if you want to get noticed once I upload new videos. See you next time.